It's good to be here. Good to be back in L.A. I've been uh, traveling recently. I went somewhere I'd never been before. I went to Alaska uh, last year. Have you guys ever been to White Wakanda? Yeah, I went to Alaska. Alaska was sick, man, because Alaska, dude, all I did for a week was just binge drink and eat salmon. It was amazing. I, the whole time I was in Alaska, I just felt like Yogi Bear going through a divorce. <laughs> Today, boo-boo, she's taking the fucking kids. Like, I, uh, it was weird, though, because I went out there. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because all my friends were like, oh, dude, you're going to love Alaska. There's so much beautiful nature and, oh, just an ass full of nature. You're going to get natured up real good. And I don't know if this is a popular take, but I think nature sucks shit. It's not, like, I'm sorry, if nature's so good, why do we keep moving it? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, nature is just the boring shit that's around until we come up with a Knott's Berry farm to put on top of it. I don't know. I don't think I'm right. I just think I'm too stupid for nature. I do, because I was out there with a buddy of mine, and we were walking down the street, and we turned a corner, and at the end of this road, we just saw, like, the most perfect vista I've ever seen, just a glimmering lake with snow-capped mountains rising up in the background. There was an eagle catching a trout with its talons. And my buddy looked at that, and he went, man, you look at all that, and you really believe maybe a god made this world. <laughs> and I looked at it and said, yo, it looks like the water bottle label, but in real life. Like... <laughs> I, I hit a career milestone on that trip, though. Uh, I flew up there to do a show, and it was the first time in my career that I have flown anywhere not on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> and I wish that didn't make my dick so hard, but <laughs> here we are. I love the woo, because this is a Spirit Airlines crowd. <laughs> we have all of us gotten a DUI on the unfriendly skies. <laughs> that fucking ITT tech with wings. <laughs> Dude, this is how shitty Spirit Airlines is. I did some research to make sure this was true. Spirit Airlines was founded in 1983. Do you know what happened in 2001? Nine goddamn 11. <laughs> Which means Spirit Airlines was open on 9-11. Which means when Al-Qaeda was planning 9-11, they could have done it for half of what they spent. <laughs> but Osama bin Laden... <laughs> looked at the leg room available and went, no, <laughs> even for me, this seems cruel. <laughs> All right, you're gonna blow up. Your back doesn't have to hurt while you do it. You can't do 9-11 with a spirit plane. You hit the tower, all that goes down is the rent. That's... I did that joke recently and I did the no, the Bin Laden voice and somebody came up to me. Uh, I'll let you guess what color this woman was. And she went, uh, actually, <laughs> She went, that's racist. And I'm like, are you so woke that you came all the way around to supporting Al-Qaeda? <laughs> <laughs> Almost impressed. My, uh, my mom sucks. Dude, uh, does anybody else have a mom that sucks? Oh, that's a, that's a double hand raise. Oh, you fuck good. All right. <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, it's, it, 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 I, like, I, I don't hate her, but she sucks. I'm just like, if I didn't used to live in your pussy, we wouldn't hang out. Like, like my mom is a current anti-vaxxer and former heroin addict. Yeah, kind of hard to hear anti-vax lines coming out of somebody who used to do heroin. They hit a little, they have, like the other day she was like, I'm not getting the vaccine. I don't know where it came from. I'm like, I've watched you inject something that you bought out of a butthole. So, <laughs> well, what if the vaccine makes me sick? What if it turns me autistic? I'm like, well, your old medicine gave you hepatitis, so <laughs> can't be that much worse. Oh, she sucks, but I don't want her to die. I want her to get the vaccine, and I feel like the only way I can make that happen now is to trick her into thinking that it's heroin. <laughs> Like, I have to find a doctor with a neck tattoo, or shoot it between her toes behind a Circle K. <laughs> Just, you know, if she asks, tell her it's that Fauci white, okay? Tell her that shit is primo and primo. <laughs> guys are fun. A little bit about me, I'm, uh, I'm bisexual, uh, mostly to justify buying this sweater. <laughs> guys, I was straight, and then I was like, the colors are pretty, oh, like. <laughs> 
I, pre- I appreciate whoever wooed, by the way. And you again, are you, you're my favorite person. Let's be best friends. There's, there's all, it's always a woman who woos, because women here, I'm by, and they're like, oh, good for you. You're 50% less likely to follow me to my car. Like, <laughs> I know what I look like. You want to get this off the board if you can. There's always one straight dude. Like, I don't think anyone's going to do it here, because you're all too high to remember me. But there's always one straight dude after the show who's just like, well, that was funny, but you better not try to fuck me. <laughs> And I'm like, I won't, sir. You're ugly. Like, because it's never the hot straight guy that I am going to try to fuck. Like, it's always some dipshit stepdad in a big dog's t shirt. <laughs> Better not follow me into the bathroom and dick me up my good cargo shorts. Like, not gonna, fella. Half gay, 100% sober. You're gonna be fine. It's funny. I'm, uh, I'm half a fag or whatever, but I'm also. I'm also from Orange County, California, uh, home of bros, uh, a boo for Orange County. <laughs> that's, if you've never been to Orange County, just imagine if a boogie board could commit a hate crime, and that's everyone I went to high school with. <laughs> no, like all my bros who I grew up with, they're just they're bros. They're just fucking, ugh, just, they have tap out shorts and going out tap out shorts. You know, what? it's that level of like, it, you ever meet somebody with so much testosterone, it's a disability, like that's, and they're not homophobic, they're just dumb, and they don't know anything. Like my best friend in the world is a bro from Orange County, a dude named Tom, uh, and Tom is wonderful. Tom would take a bullet from me. Tom has fought people on my behalf. Totally not a problem, but Tom doesn't know anything about anything ever. <laughs> like, Tom is the straightest thing I've ever seen. Like, Tom is not heterosexual the way sex between a man and a woman is, Tom is straight the way one of those singing Billy Big Mouth Basses is. Where he doesn't attract pussy, he just repels culture. Like, and he'll just ask me gay questions, like I'm Jane Goodall on Grindr, just doing a report on the mating habits of the North American Rainbow Gorilla to bring back to him. The other day he goes, dude, what do gay guys call each other? I was like, their name, generally. What the fuck are you talking about? And he goes, no, 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 no. Because, like, you know when a couple is normal? Uh, I mean, straight. Uh, they'll call each other, like, babe or sweetheart or whatever. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, what do fucking dudes do? And I could have told him what you've all, all figured out by now, which is that they also, babe is fine, sweetheart is fine. Those are non-gendered terms. Instead, I decided to just make some shit up. So I said, well, Tom... Traditionally, the shorter gay guy calls the taller one sensei. It's, uh, it's a sign of respect. You take your shoes off, you bow, and hey, while you're down there, get to work. Like, so now I'm just having a lot of fun making up gay facts to see what I can get Tom to bite on. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, man, you got to go to a gay wedding, dude. It's beautiful. The two guys, they meet on a cliffside at dawn, <laughs> and they just take each other's shirts off and fold them up like a war widow's flag. <laughs> And then they just spray each other down with Pam cooking oil <laughs> until they're nice and slippery. And then those motherfuckers just wrestle hardcore Greco-Roman. And the winner gets to be the dad. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, you want to go to the after party for the wedding? That's fine. But Tom, whatever you do, never feed a gay man after midnight. <laughs> That's how you make a trans. No. <laughs> lot of fun. I'm gonna, I'll leave you guys on this. Um, like I said, I've been traveling a little bit. Uh, and I, I prefer, I don't, I don't love flying. I prefer taking the Greyhound because uh, everything's going great. Uh, I don't know if you guys fuck with the Hound. Uh, <laughs> Greyhound rips because Greyhound combines the thrill of being four hours late with the excitement of smelling all of the piss in the world at once. <laughs> and this is the biggest thing I've learned from taking a bus across America is that the further away you get from a major city in this country, the more the billboards on the side of the highway get very threatening and very religious very quickly. Because <laughs> we do not have a lot of God billboards in Los Angeles because God cannot afford to advertise anywhere fun. I don't know why, but if there's shit to do in your town after 6 p.m., Christ has no sway there. <laughs> but I recently got back from Fresno the Alabama of the West. <laughs> and dude, every billboard outside of Fresno is just, pray to Christ, don't get an abortion. There's an Arby's over there. 
They just want you to know God is king, babies are people, and sandwiches are nearby. <laughs> you guys are a lot of fun. This is going to be a fucking great show. Thank you so much. Gemini, baby.